gosh, am I this pretty? Or this viewfinder is just fooling me? I don't know, but I really love this look. I actually like the pink, pink lips, pink top. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Homozo Ramano for those of you who don't know me if you're new here hi welcome I hope you do click that subscribe button to become a part of this family and if you're returning thank you so much for your continuous support I really do appreciate it as you might tell by the title of this video I will be doing an unboxing video so basically, I am going to unbox two goodies that I purchased a few days ago. I'm sure by the title you can already tell what it is. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into the video. So if you are interested in seeing this little unboxing, do keep on watching. A few days ago, I went to Santon City to look for something that I had been saving up for. And finally, I was able to come back home with it. This is the packaging of this special something that I came back with a very nice paper bag as you can tell by the packaging or rather the paper bag you can tell that it's not the regular orange paper bag that we are all used to so they did explain something about having a limited edition something that they launching at LV so that's why I got this paper bag however the box is still orange I did open it you guys that's why you're going to see that the bow down here is actually a bow that I made myself it was nicely packaged the guy at Louis Vuitton was kind enough to actually package it for me pretty because he saw that I'm actually a youtuber but when I got home I couldn't help but open it so I did try to basically package it the way I received it but yeah I failed dismally but anyway that's besides the point it's not all about the packaging well it is but yeah you get my point so this is the box that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys today and I'm sure you can already tell by the size of this box what is in here well I wouldn't have guessed that it's this bag in here but because of the many unboxing videos that I watched for this bag, I would know what is in this box. So this is basically um, the box and this is my second purchase from LV. If you are a regular degula on this channel, then you would know that this is my second purchase. And if you're curious as to which was my first purchase, I'm going to link it up in the cards somewhere so that you guys can go watch it if you haven't already. So yeah, this is the box and it basically has this magnetic thingy that all boxes i think all boxes have got this magnetic thing i stand to be corrected and as you open it you basically have this dust bag in there this is a dust bag that it comes in as you open it that is the baby that i purchased So this is the baby that I purchased from Louis Vuitton. So basically this is the Neverfull MM in the canvas Demia Abin and the interior is the ballerina something. It's got a pink interior which I'll show you right now. So like my first purchase at Louis Vuitton, I did ask them to basically put my initials over there and I chose the color pink only because the inside, the interior is actually pink and I did mention that this is a Damia Azu. I think I did say Damia Abin. Well, this is the Damia Azu. Apologies if I made a mistake. It is a medium. There is a grand and there is a petite, if I'm not mistaken. So I chose the one in the middle because I'm quite small and I felt like the bigger one was going to be too big and the small one was going to be too small. And it's got a pink interior. I think it's called a ballerina something. I will write it down somewhere because I've sort of like forgotten what it's called. So it's basically pink inside. It's not the beige one on the inside. And I was really drawn to the pink in here. And also because I've got um, a Demia Abin Alma BB, I decided I'm just going to get this one in a Demia Azu. They did say that it transfers quite easily. Obviously, because it is a light color, it will catch on dirt much quicker than the Damia Abin. So I did purchase this bag only because it literally took my breath away the moment I saw it. Also, another reason for me wanting to get the Neverfull is that it comes with a little bag on the inside. 
it literally has the same print as the bigger one and also on the inside it is also pink that's what it looks like so i thought to myself i'm gonna get two bags for the price of one this one would be more like i'm gonna use as a clutch when going out for dinner dates and all of that and this one is going to be more of a casual bag the nice thing about this bag is you can basically just cinch it in on the sides to sort of like make it into like what can i say like a bucket bag so this is what it looks like cinched in on both sides well it doesn't really have a good shape at the moment because yeah it comes from the box i'm gonna get into some of the little details that it has with you guys so it's got nude handles and the side has got like a reddish color on the side and the threads are yellow i hope you can see that the threads are yellow the sides are reddish and the belts themselves are a nude and on the inside it has got clasps that you can literally just put together when you're closing your bag and also it's got an extra clasp i don't really know what it's for it's on this side this bag does not have any compartments which i feel like that is a bummer but it is what it is and it's got this um pocket or whatever you want to call it and it's got a zipper so it literally does not have any any compartments so getting into the price of this bag in my previous unboxing i did not want to mention the price but i found that a lot of people actually want to know and i received a lot of emails and dms so i'm going to tell you exactly how much this was let me just get the all bags purchased from louis vuitton actually come in this um, envelope this is actually where you find the receipt there's no such thing as a certificate um, previously I did not receive one and this time around I did make sure to ask and they said there is no such thing as a certificate for Louis Vuitton but rather a receipt so this bag here was um, 19,304 rands 35 cents that is excluding VAT and including VAT it's 22,200 rands so basically that is the price of this bag so I'm going to get into the pros of this bag first things first this bag is stylish it's not too over the top where now you only have to take this bag in formal situations where you have to go to like formal events and all of that you can basically take this grocery shopping and if you want to make it more of a smart casual bag you can cinch in the size to sort of make it like a bucket bag so that's what I like about this bag another pro is the canvas that I chose and the interior that I chose I'm sure you guys have seen that a lot of people are actually purchasing the Neverfull in the Damia Abin which I didn't want to do because now I feel like a lot of people have it even though I want to be a bit different, these are the more affordable bags at Louis Vuitton. So a lot of people are bound to have this bag or rather a lot of people will sort of like gravitate to buying these bags. So I decided to get this canvas and also get it in pink because if someone has it in the same canvas, then at least on the inside, mine will be different. I am sure that there are people who are going to buy this bag, obviously. But according to what I've been seeing around, I've never really seen anyone carry this bag. But um, I'm pretty sure someone does have it, obviously. But yeah, I like that it's a bit different. It's not different, different, but like not a lot of people choose this bag. And I think it's simply because it transfers easily and it's light. So you might be afraid of getting it dirty. But I didn't choose the Demia Abin because I do have a Demia Abin print so yeah that's why i sort of like chose this one and another thing is just by looking at it you can tell that this bag is quite spacious hence the name the never full so um i'm sure it's gonna fit in a lot of things another pro of this bag is that you get two for the price of one this bag here you can use it as a clutch or a wrist bag so that's why i really chose this bag because it comes with two um, bags so you're basically getting two bags for the price of one and another thing that i love is that it's made in france i always have anxiety that if i ever go to louis vuitton and i purchase a bag and it's not made in france then i'm not going to be the happiest person but it is what it is not all of them are made in france so there's really nothing you can do we can't control that and yeah i'm really happy about this purchase 
that I made. This bag is really cute. It's beautiful. It's feminine. Um, I really love everything about it, you guys. I really do. And that is not all, you guys. I did mention in the beginning of this video that I did purchase a little something also at Louis Vuitton. This is the packaging that it comes in. Again, I did open it. That's why the bow here doesn't look like it was recently just um, sealed. I purchased this coin purse. This is how it looks. And the inside is also pink. The inside is pink and I also have my initials there. MJK and this one right here is made in Spain. Um, what a bummer but it is okay that it's made in Spain. The bottom line is it is a Louis Vuitton. This here, um, I did not plan on getting it. However, I wanted to go get um, a, a card holder from Michael Kors. They go for about 2,000 to 6,000 rands. So this was within that price range. So I thought, why not? And I got this in the monogram. The name of this one is, um, let me just read it on my phone because I don't really know the name. I just liked how it looked. This is the Rosalie coin purse and it is the monogram canvas as I said and the inside is a rose ballerine color as well as my Neverfull. It's also a rose ballerine. That's the word I was looking for. So it basically has a button over there and on the inside it's got some space in there. It's got a space where you can put your card over there and then another space there and then you can just unzip it to put more of your things in there. And this was not part of the plan to actually buy this but I thought because it's not so expensive, it is expensive but considering it's an LV then obviously you're going to pay a bit more than your normal um card holders or purses so yeah this one retails for let me check so both these items because i bought them on the same day they gave me one receipt so they both share a receipt there so this one excluding that is 5173 rands and 91 cents and including that it's 5950 so yeah i just purchased this because i really did need um, a card holder or something to just basically store my cards and I like that it's very small and this one I had to take in a monogram because I have too many Damier canvases so I decided to get this one and basically those are the items that I got from Louis Vuitton um, I am happy with my purchase I can't complain and hopefully I'll have a video up in a few months to just basically review these things after a few months. So yeah, that is about it for this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you enjoyed this video or this video was very insightful to you, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you have purchased from LV, kindly drop the name of the item that you purchased from LV or if you're planning on getting something or you wish to have something from LV, just comment down below which item it is is i'd love to interact with you guys in the comment section thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel i'll see you again in another one bye